Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few personal tips and recommendations to improve the battery life of your iPhone running the latest iOS 17.5.1. Now, I do have to say that ever since I updated my iPhone from iOS 17.5 to 17.5.1, the battery life has actually improved quite a bit, which is obviously great news. So if you're running 17.5, you may want to consider updating to 17.5.1. This one improves and fixes a few bugs. As you can see right there, this update provides important bug fixes, and it also fixes the issue where some users were seeing old deleted photos reappearing after updating to iOS 17.5 in their camera roll. So it's also important to update just because of that. Now, again, I've had great battery life so far with iOS 17.5.1, but if you're struggling with battery life on iOS 17.5 or 17.5.1, hopefully these personal tips and recommendations that I wanted to share with you guys will help you get improved battery life on your device. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I recommend everyone to do, and this is not specific to iOS 17.5.1, this is for everyone on all software updates. You may want to remove any app that you're not using from your iPhone. I know most of you guys may be guilty of saving apps that you don't use, like Apple apps. I do it sometimes as well, and I tend to forget that these apps do require resources. The stock application, the journal application, the news application, they're constantly obtaining resources, right? In order to provide you with the latest news or the latest stocks or information for the actual journal application. So let me show you here under privacy and security, we have an entire suggestion category for journal right here. We have all this data that is currently fetching in order to provide me with information, valuable information for the journal app. But if I don't use the app, I can actually turn them all off, right? Or even just delete the app that I'm not using. So if I'm not using the journal app, just remove it entirely. That way it's not running in the background, requesting those resources, draining the battery of your iPhone because you're just simply not using those apps. So just make sure that you always delete apps that you're not using on your device. That's just something that you should do on every software update. Now, another important thing that I wanted to mention is for under privacy and security, once again, for whatever reason, if I go under the location services, if I scroll all the way to the bottom and go to the system services right here, and then I scroll all the way to the bottom one more time, we have this improved products category. Now, this particular section here does not really help you in any way. This is mostly for helping Apple products and services improvements, right? So if you go to significant location, you may want to turn that off. I always do. This is something that's constantly tracking your location to improve your suggestions on maps and traffic and things of that nature, but I don't use Apple Maps. And right here, we have the product improvement. Again, this is for Apple. This sends your location to Apple to improve things like maps, routing, and traffic information, and things of that nature, as you can see here. And you can learn more about it right here, as you can see. So just keep in mind that if you're not using iPhone analytics, traffics, and improved maps, you can just turn all these options off. For whatever reason, I always turn them off. And when I update my iPhone, they always turn back on. And I just don't like that. So make sure you do those things first. So now I want to give you guys a few personal recommendations recommendations in order to improve the battery life on your device. The first thing I want to talk about is the always on display. So if you go into display and brightness, scroll all the way to the bottom, right there it is, always on display. I always turn off the show wallpaper option because if you have the show wallpaper option, obviously when you go into the lock screen, you have these colors showing in the background when the always on display is active. If you don't want that, you want to make sure you turn it off here again under the always on display options. And now every time you put your device to sleep, you just get an entirely dark background as you can see right there. This has improved the battery life slightly for me on every software update, so I always recommend users to do this if you want to preserve a little bit of battery life. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is third-party applications on your iPhone, so rather it's social media applications or whatever. You want to make sure that they're always up to date, and even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled, you want to jump into the App Store, go into your account right here, account settings, and then just just swipe down just like so and refresh and you could have some app updates populate just like so as you can see I have three app updates keep in mind that third-party applications okay do drain battery sometimes and even can cause overheating in some cases so just make sure that even if you have that automatic app updates enabled you update all your applications on your iPhone every time you update to a new software update now next I want to talk about the cell data when you're out and about believe it or not sometimes we forget to do certain things here for example personally I forget forget to turn off my hotspot. So if you're walking around with your hotspot enabled on your iPhone, just turn it off. Keep in mind that hotspot is constantly looking for other devices to share your 
your data with. So if you forget to turn it off after you use it, just make sure you remember to turn it off. That's worked for me. Now under the cell service options right here, cell data options, I also wanna talk about the voice and data. If you jump in here in 5G standalone is enabled, I recommend you turn it off because this is going to be using 5G for the most part. And obviously that's going to drain your battery life a lot quicker and make sure that automatic is enabled. That way your iPhone can decide when to switch depending on the network coverage. Now right here under data mode, make sure you also select standard. That way you get the best battery life from your iPhone. And those are gonna be some of my personal tips and recommendations to improve the battery life slightly on iOS 17.5.1. And again, if you haven't updated from 17.5, I highly recommend you do. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.